I'm here with Norman Jay, the guy who coined the phrase, what is it about vinyl that makes people travel the world looking for it? You can actually spin all genres of music. Do you like to keep it a bit varied? Well, I, I love to keep it varied because then um, it challenges me musically. I, I've been around a little bit longer and my tastes are much broader than that. I like, like I said, most styles of music most of the time and if I can get away with it, I like to play most of it to most of the people. You were one of the founder members of KISS FM, so how did that station come about? It was actually started by a friend of mine called Gordon Mack and um, I was one of the first DJs that he recruited and then I took it upon myself to recruit most of the other DJs, um, DJs like Jazzy B and That's right, Jazzy B, Judge Jules, uh, Dr. Bob Jones, Matt Black, Cold Cut, the list is endless. None of us are properly radio trained. We had no formal training in broadcasting. We were just enthusiastic amateurs going on there playing the longest versions of, of, of our own record collections. I work for the BBC now, the GLR. I do a three hour Sunday show there. Um, it goes out London-wide, and um, luckily for me, I took a huge KISS audience with me. It's funny, you know, you start off as a rebel, rebelling against all kinds of authority, but it's often true that you eventually become the people you once hated. <laughs> and uh, now people like myself are considered the new establishment. Um, I hate that, but that's exactly what we are. DJs like Danny Ramplin, Pete Tong, Judge Jules, myself. You helped set up Talking Loud Records with Giles Peterson. Are you yeah. still releasing them? Yeah, Giles is still releasing them. The label's doing really well. Um, next year they celebrate their 10th anniversary. Initially, um, Giles set up the label for Polygram as a, as a jazz label. And, and I was taken on as a fledgling A&R man there as well to start a dance label. We were hired by the, the then president of, of the company who within a week was fired. So when the new um, managing director came in, he called me and Giles to his office and looked at Giles and he said, we're not gonna have any jazz records released here. And looked at me and said, we're not gonna have any dance records released here. So um, we were contemplating our future. So then we decided, well, let's just stay and make one label work, so, uh, which turned out to be Talking Loud. So we set about signing um, our friends who turned out to be people like Omar, Incognito, Galliano, um, the first wave of um, UK sort of Brit funk fans that turned out um, to be pretty good people actually, the Young Disciples. Um, I left there after three really good years, well four really good years, and um, I wouldn't have swapped them for anything. Fantastic time. You've played for people like Mick Jagger, George Michael, Paul Weller, and Paul Weller actually said you were one of his favourite DJs. Um, truly honoured by that comment. Um, yeah, I have been um, doing celebrity parties uh, for quite a few years now. Uh, they're entirely different from clubs. You, you have to play a different style to different people. Um, it, it's mad and I, I feel privileged that every time a celeb's in town, oh, let's get Norman to play. I hope to be doing a, a few dates for Jamiroquai as well yeah. on his tour and his after parties because I know Jay quite well. Hi Jay if you're watching.